Hey guys, so I was asked recently about plantar fasciitis and what I think the causes and cures are. So one pretty easy one is uh, footwear. So a good piece of footwear for someone with plantar has good stabilization through the back, nice strong heel cup, but good movement through the front. So you should be able to do that without the back half moving. Or back probably two thirds, sorry. Um, when we look at this, the whole thing is starting to collapse in. All right, now that's great. Uh, this is a Salming Distance D4, which I use for tempo training, racing. Uh, it's lightweight, but one of the ways they take weight out is reduce support. Um, so that means your arch is working to reduce the impacts. Whereas you get more of so the Salming Miles, which I use you know, just for doing huge base miles and kilometers. Uh, it has great support, it's a bit heavier, but it then generates um, a good structured system to stop myself overworking my arch which is quite important if you're trying to do uh, big mileage or kilometers um, so that's something I'd recommend checking out and it's not to say that a lightweight trainer isn't good because it's great for strengthening the foot and allowing the dynamic movement but for someone like yourself suffering with a bit of plantar I'd say stick to the rigid uh, back two-thirds shoe um, one that you can do that without the back moving and that should set you right until you're ready to start integrating lighter shoes again. Hope that helps.